everyone, Asa Burn here doing another review on Comedy 101. Um, this one's going to be the two good guys and bad guys, enemy of each other. Uh, okay, so first I'm going to show you, introduce it to a store, just in case you are new to this video and to my channel. Feel free to fast forward if you already have this written down. It's Fighter Corners. Here's their first uh, address on top. Instead of Assault Meat, second place is or second store they open up. And that's inside of Swamp Me as well. Facebook them or call them and ask what they have. First of all, Yamato Yoshi finally became a toy. Splinter Sensei. As you see, there he looks like, like this. And you can see a little baby Splinter right there. And he carries a cage where Splinter is supposed to be in. So you can see the cover is so much better. Rebel, 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 yeah. So, just like that. So here, like I said, here he is when he's, I guess you could say, alive. The reason why I say that, because he turned his head. And has a ghost face in it. And so he comes back from the dead. It's really weird. And talks about the sensei. It's bio. Then you got these other characters over here. That comes out. So you know who is what. Of course, their vehicle. This is the most rarest one out of all of them. Then he goes that, which I don't have, which I hope I get soon. I do have this one. I will review that soon. And 2005, Monta Yoshi. And then you got one of my favorite Shredder costume. It's because it includes, um, has a bonus DVD episode 3, Attack of the Mousers. Collect all three episodes. Let me see the cover. And here he is. That mask right there because those rubber pieces that just goes right on. His armor is actually pretty cool, actually. And of course his weapon. It's a silver soul gold. And his spike. So how he looks like in the back. Old school, love century of shredder. Yep, hey, there you go. This is the one I was telling you about. It's really a bad idea. That if you push the middle piece, he falls into pieces and you gotta wind him up. Just like you did with that Triceraton one for the Battle Nexus one. Believe me, people, it's not worth the opening because it just makes the toy look worse. Just leave him inside the box. I need to get him. So, like I said, do not open these ones. If it falls apart like that, I just wish they left him alone the way he is. And of course, 2005 Morgan Studio. Hey. So, like I said, leave him in there. There's a reason why he's all wrapped up like that, so he won't fall apart. But please, do not open him. It's not worth it. It's kind of annoying actually. If you haven't seen uh, the Battle Nexus um, series, yeah, then you'll know why. <laughs> so that's our short review. Um, like I said, they're worth it. I like the fact that you have the live version of Yamato Yoshi for the first time actually a toy. It turns into a ghost. And then, of course, you got the other one, which is 
it's a really cool shredder. I just I don't like the fact that he just falls in pieces. It's a really bad idea. So all right, people, you choose which one you like better. Uh, put your comments down and tell me what you guys think. Until then, happy hunting, and see you later.